Good day, gentlemen. This is Swashbuckling Sir here, and today we're taking a peek at Coin Crypt, a dungeon crawler featuring magical coins that are used in combat and in shopping. <laughs> So, welcome to CoinCrypt. So, what is this? First of all, it's a kind of JRPG-influenced dungeon crawler with a very intriguing combat. So I'll just jump into the game here and I'll probably do several runs to show the mechanics. So, we are this, well, this adventurer here. And as you can see in the lower left corner, we have a little minimap and this is what we explore basically and you see you can come across enemies here this enemy that's chasing me now oh my god he's faster than i am oh, it's probably same speed but once you crash into them the actual combat starts and this is where it gets intriguing because it's kind of turn-based but not really because ow that hurt because while there is kind of a timing mechanic to it because you you know you have to choose the stuff basically that you want to use but at the same time I'm just going to click through here while I explain at the same time the timer ticks so you have to make your choices rather quickly but once you select the timer gets faster so you don't have to rush what is this is this some kind of special entrance oh Interesting. Never seen that before. Okay. Uh, seemingly I now skipped a little. That's not too bad. So, what is it? We have a bag of coins. It's in the lower right corner. And these coins all do different things. So we have an attack coin, basically, which hits for four. We have one that hits for two. And as you can see in the upper right, this cooldown is basically, or cast times one. Here the cast times two. We have one that hits for six, cast times two. And they are all also worth something. So if I want to buy something in the shop, the worth of the coin is important. <clears throat> That's very interesting. So basically everything revolves around these coins. And there is two ways to kill an enemy. The first way is to just hit the enemy and, you know, reduce their lives, obviously. So... This is a possibility to kill your enemy. The second possibility to kill your enemy is you just make them run out of coins. So as you can see, my enemy has six coins left and I could just, you know, steal his coins and make him run out of coins. Currently, I do not have the coins necessary to steal stuff from him. So obviously I have to kill him. But once the enemy runs out of coins, they also die, but the same counts for you. So all stuff you use also is lost forever, basically. So if I collect from the chest two, two hit coins, basically, when I use them and damage the enemy by two, these coins are also lost. So now you can see I have 17 coins. I can hit him for these and for these. And now I lost these coins. I, I get the coins that the enemy has not used. So this way you can balance the stuff you use and the stuff you get. But at the same time you have to keep watch over the coins you have and the strategy you're going to apply. So this is very intriguing. Obviously this is basically the main part of the game. Now what you've probably also seen is that I can draw three coins in combat. Now let's talk about this shop first because I'm here. You can buy different stuff. These are too expensive, I can't pay these. I can get a new hand faster. This is basically when I want to reshuffle my hand. Bag of coins. Basically you get some coins. I think that might be interesting. Let's try this. So if I want to buy this item, I have to open my bag and I need to pay 150 and now I this is basically what the game would recommend me to pay. Unlock stuff. Well, maybe the key. I want to maybe keep the key. But now I have to obviously get to these. So maybe I want to... Maybe that's very expensive, isn't it? Maybe I don't want to buy that. 
I don't think... Do you get the, your money's worth out of this? Ah, let's just try it, whatever. Bye. Attack coin back, so I get lots of new coins. Oh, maybe it was worth it. What is this? Copies a random coin. Oh, okay. As you can see, I now have very many of those attack coins. And obviously I try to kill enemies with it. So I think that's a very, very intriguing mechanic. And here I can donate coins to basically heal myself. I think I'm just going to do that. The floor is glowing. Wait. And give. I healed you. Plus one. Well, that's not much. What if I give you the heal four? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can always do that just once. Okay. So I, th I really like this combat mechanic where you basically have to balance the damage you do and at the same time, you know, you try to kill the enemy. And as you can see here, sometimes there are a stack of coins in your hand. The stack of coins basically are... Because you always draw three coins, and when you draw the same coin twice in those three, they basically just get stacked in your hand. So that's very cool, because then you can use two coins with the same cast time. So it's good if you have a lot of the same coins. So as you can see, I have eight of the hit, four, hit four basically, seven of the hit two, and I have a higher probability of drawing those. And if they get stacked, I can use both hit four basically at the same time with just two cast time, which is very good. So let's talk about graphics now. As you can probably see, that well, I think it has its unique art style, to phrase it lightly. But it's not... Ow, I should have healed me somehow. Or I should have used the two attack, probably that would have been smarter. But it's not too bad if I die, because I want to show you the next uh, stuff out of the game anyway. So, the graphic style, as you can see, is very blocky, very Minecraft-inspired in its blocky style, and it's, you know... It wants to be retro, that's for sure. However, I just feel that the overall aesthetic is just not very good. I personally do not like it very much, I have to be honest. I love the gameplay, but I do not like the graphics very much. It's just too blocky, too uninspired maybe. It's just, it doesn't, you know, doesn't ring any bells. It's, it's also locked to 30 FPS, so that doesn't help either. Oh, that's intriguing. The enemy has stealing coins, so now I will probably lose a lot of coins to this guy. Let's see, I, maybe I can destroy him before he... yeah, before he steals too much. Now you can see I got a lot of steal coins from this enemy. So I can now try to... if I get these, I can try to... yeah, probably steal some coins. But now I have actually... yes, I need heal stuff, that's good. I have to somehow managed to get up because I'm at one hit point as you can see in the lower area of the screen. So yeah, graphics wise, it's very colorful obviously, but you know, it's very very blocky. Let's steal a coin maybe. Uh oh, this kills me, this kills me. Yes, okay, that's it. Well, that's not too shabby. Um, because yeah, this lets me talk about the progression system. What a nice way as if I planned it. As you can see you have always a selection of three characters and the amount of coins you earned can be spent into a character. So I have a lot of stuff into this character already and I can just click it and fill him up basically. And then once he's unlocked, you see I have the thief now. He gets more loot but has less health. That's intriguing. And I get an achievement. Awesome. So let's Maybe give that stuff to the princess or whatever. And now I have the thief here. But this is not the only class. You have lots and lots and lots of classes. I have the thief, I have the shroud, the professor, the bard, the assassin, the ghost, the archer, which is basically Link, the executive, the monkey, and the adventurer. So I will show you the new stuff I just unlocked, the new class. Let's try this guy. He gets more loot but has less hit points. Let's see how we fare with this guy. It is... and this is basically it. This is the whole progression system. There is nothing more to it. There are no unlocks like 
stuff outside of the game that you unlock new items. There is no... Basically, just nothing outside of character stuff outside of the progression system. Which is okay, since I guess they want to, you know, preserve this very fresh game every time you start into the game. It's a bit like FTL in that sense, which I understand where they are coming from, but the game in itself is very harsh. Especially... Oh, this is the stealing guy, right? So there's actually no need for me to shield myself. Oh, well, whatever. Um... So... I understand where they are coming from, because they want to, you know, keep every run fresh, and this way the difficulty level is also the same and doesn't decrease over over time. But at the same time, due to the very high randomness, the game is very difficult. Same as FTL. You can come across some enemies that just wreck your butt. So that might happen. You never know. What is this? Hit for her two to self. I don't want to use that. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Yeah, that is something very rare. Oh, worth a lot of money. Hopefully we come across a shop anytime soon. Let's take some stealing coins so I can show you that mechanic. So, yeah, there is no progression outside. So the, the game is very hardcore focused because it's also, you know, very difficult. Now, if I steal a coin here, oh my God, he's going to kill me. There's no way I can I prevent this. Shoot! Oh, wow. Yeah, well, this guy has a attack six coin. Just kills you level one. That was not very good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting idea, but I think because of the difficulty, you can just get wrecked sometimes at level one. As you could see right there, I couldn't do anything about it. I just... That, that was doomed, basically. So... Yeah, I don't know. That is very, very harsh. You know, if you like games like that, I think that is an approach that, you know, is debatable. I know where they are coming from, but I just like sometimes, if you play longer, to try some easier approaches. It would be nice to be able to complete the game for once. <laughs> Okay, let's try the ghost. The ghost gets more loot and stacks, but drops coins. Let's just try this guy. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Now, let's jump from the gameplay to the sound for a second. stupid. <laughs> I'm really bad against these loon guys. So as you could see, uh, as you could see here, yeah, see here, that was the mixture of the the words there. The thing is that the sound design is functional and the music is okay, but in, god darn it. I didn't even watch my hit points there. So the sound design is okay, but it's not too impressive. Let's just do another run with this guy. So, yeah, that's basically Queen Crypt. There are some minor things I'd like to say. So while you can do the strategy of stealing coins from the enemy, the reward after each fight is that you get the coins the enemy has remaining. And if you use stuff like the enemy drops coins, then you don't get a lot of reward. So I feel that this strategy is not necessarily very good. 
So maybe, I don't know if there's any possibility, but I'd like to receive some kind of reward when I make the enemy run out of coins. That would be nice to see. So this, I feel, the enemy drops a coin is not very good because then you use a coin, but you don't get anything from it. So I don't like that very much. I don't think that's a very... Maybe there are classes out there that function very well with it. And the enemy variety is very high and they are, you know, you can apply different strategies to different enemies, which is very cool. Some try to steal your stuff, some just try to attack you. It's, it's very, very interesting mechanically. So... Yeah, let's just grab all the money. I'm going to die anyway, probably. <laughs> let's grab the heal stuff. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, that is something I don't like very much because while I like the idea yet that you can steal stuff, you know, I don't like very much that you don't get much reward out of it. So I don't feel that this strategy is too viable. So maybe they should improve that a little and so you can basically reduce the combat aspect and this way you can have a variety of strategies, which is cool, I like that. And I also like how the, how in general the whole mechanics work, that you use your coins and you have to basically make decisions. Do I want to use the coin? Do I want to re-roll? Do I want to maybe get hit there and trade some hit points? It's very intriguing. So I like it very much. Now there's one more thing that you've probably seen and I will go to the shop in a second. Looting chests, especially with a ghost or other characters that get more loot, can get quite the chore because you have lots of chests and you have lots of stuff you have to click and make decisions so there are especially the smaller ones they are just annoying if you have one large chest that's cool because then you can manage and and think about how to approach and what kind of stuff to pick out of the chest but the smaller stuff we can just pick two or three that can get a chore. So I'd like to see less chests, but the less lesser chests basically have larger rewards in them, so it feels really good opening those. So now we should be able to get more from chests or draw more coins. I think more coins would be awesome. So I want to spend all my very rares, yes, obviously. Um, hit two, slow enemy. These, those are actually really good, I don't want to trade those. Let's see, I want to go give away the shield here, and this. Maybe, what do we have here? Boost speed? Yeah, I don't need those. Can give one of those. Oh, there's a... Oh, man. Maybe I want to keep one of those. They're really expensive, I didn't realize. Ah, I don't want to give a key away, so let's trade this in, and the hurt one. Bye. So now I should be able to have even more coins. More choices, more stacks, and everything is brilliant. So, yeah. I'm just checking my list. I think that's basically what I wanted to say. I talked about the graphics, which I don't like very much, but they are functional. And if you don't mind, the gameplay is very, very good. I talked about the sound. And also, you know, while the gameplay is very, very good, at the same time, the gameplay is not very fair. So if, you, if you're looking for a fair game, it's the same with, you know, FTL. It's not necessarily what you will be looking for. This game is not fair at all. But that is fine, because that's kind of the fun of, of, of this roguelike genre. So if you're fine with that, and if you're fine trying new stuff and trying new strategies and unlocking different characters, it's very cool, it's very fun. And actually, maybe I can rush through this area because then the tile set, while is now just green and more green and even more green, it actually later on it changes. Though, so there are different tile sets. It's not just green, <laughs> you know. It's not. You're not just going to run through forests. What do we have here? Can store a coin for quick use. Helps to have a map. What is this? Ah, I don't want to buy stuff now. So, yeah, I think. Let's just, maybe I can rush through this and show you the next tile set. What is this? Oh, he's going to poison me. I don't like that very much. Please die before you can poison me. Very good. I think the... The... Draw more coins is very powerful. Oh yeah, you can get a hint here. Let's destroy this guy and then the next tile set is going to open up. 
Oh, oh, he's still alive? Oh, that, I don't like that very much. Um, regenerate hit points. That is very useful. Ah, uh, well, let's use two. I'd rather use one more coin because if I do not, then he will hit me anyways and I will get one less coin reward, so that's fine. Unlock this. Open. What is this? Hit two to six. That might be great. And very rare. It's very expensive for the shop. And a heal. Random. Let's draw. Jump to the shop. Because that's also very interesting. That kind of reminds me of Dominion, the way this works. Because the. <clears throat> excuse me. The very rare coin actually doesn't do anything for combat. It just is worth a lot of money. The same as. In Dominion with the point cards you're going to buy so they hinder your deck but they are worth points so you want to have them anyway so you have to balance this is very intriguing I think gameplay wise this game is really really cool and I like that it exists let's see if we can buy this yeah let's pay all these and actually I don't want to you know I don't want to check through all this stuff I think that's going to be fine what he's going to use for that whatever Okay, so now we should get even more loot from chess. Amazing stuff. Heals over time. I don't think that actually applies for me while I'm out of combat, does it? And that's something I actually don't like. I'd like to be able to use a heal coin either outside of combat, or if I do use a heal coin, you know, at the end of combat and the enemy dies, I want to finish casting so I can actually heal myself. Because now, let's say the enemy has a six hit and I have no shield or anything to heal me beforehand, I'm screwed. But you know, that's just the random factor that comes in. So, and while we're sitting in this beautiful, let's collect all these funny great things here. So while I'm in the, in the pink whatever area this is, I'm going to sign off guys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. This has been Coin Crypt. It's on Steam Early Access, and it's it's good. It's, it's a very fun game. I, I I highly recommend it if you like stuff like, you know, FTL, and just try it. It's very fun. Have a great day. Goodbye. Okay, just a little add-on on the back here, because I've just finished the game I started in the recording run. Apparently, I just beat the game. I got to the bottom. I defeated the final boss. Well, apparently, the game is beatable. But it is harsh nonetheless. It's fun, however. I recommend it. Have a great day. Goodbye.